Oh, hey everybody, I was just reading my newspaper as I do from time to time here in the 1950s. Minister Manger, Gus uh, has a rural development vision. Apparently he's got some rural development plan he's going to show us at some point. Or maybe he already has and I don't remember. News from The Economist. Cooperation with Rumberg, an economic imperative. Amidst ongoing geopolitical uncertainties, there's an economic imperative that we can't ignore, at least according to the economics paper. Known for its large energy economy and access to two leading energy corporations, the Rizias, the Rizian Oil and Gas Corporation, and the Royal Emerald Energy Re are ripe for collaboration. These energy giants represent not just the possibility of wealth generation, but also a means of diplomatic softening, aligning mutual interests to avoid future conflicts. By welcoming partnerships, we ensure globalization serves as a bridge, not a barrier. So their push is that Rumberg, who has been kind of aggressive with us, that if we get in bed with them economically, there might be less reason for them to fight us, maybe? Uh-oh. What is it, two episodes ago or whatever we were talking about Gasm, the giant oil and gas company in our country? Job free sparks fears for Gasm's financial stability. Unsettling rumors are spreading about Gasm, one of Swordland's largest corporations. As the company puts a halt on hiring, this unprecedented move, coupled with a lack of unusual job openings, has sparked concerns about the company's fiscal stability. Thousands of blue-collared workers across Narble and Lockhaven depend on Gassim for employment. And the rumors cast an ominous shadow over their livelihoods. That don't seem good. And geopolitical, the Iotake plan. Th that was the plan from the commies from the CSP. Um, where they say they're going to rebuild Vrika and the West is like, we don't know about that. Whatever, we have more important problems, I think, to deal with than that. Um... Uh-oh. Oh no, <laughs> what's going on? I just did an update, and now the game's broken. This is not good. Well, I'm back. As you can see, um, things look correct now. What had happened is they put out an update for 3.0, and it broke the old saves. That's always kind of a worry when you're doing a Let's Play like I am, that, that a developer could ruin what you're doing. It's not a big deal, but... Ah! Let's read some information. I'm sure this will calm me down about how good things are going in our nation. Incident at President Sol's mansion on Duru Island. Oh, I hope he died. Tarkin Sol, if you die, it means I don't have to deal with your lackeys anymore. A private boat nearing Tarkin Sol mansion on Duru Island prompted the Coast Guard to fire warning shots. I guess he doesn't like to be disturbed. Despite the initial alarm, former President Tarkin Sol allowed the boat to approach for a brief conversation. The occurrence has raised questions about the security protocols near the obscure mansion. Details of the conversation remain undisclosed. Well, ho hopefully he just ordered a pizza. Hopefully his lackeys didn't weren't like, you know, this new president, we should get rid of him. Nah, keep the new president, us, Antoine. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Uh, Lock Haven. Ah, the H3 construction highway thing has been started by Taurus Holdings. They have reported that preparatory work for the H3 highway has already started. Huzzah! Including clearing land and demolishing buildings in the path of the future roadway. Sorry, I was just looking to make sure I was recording. After all the time I spent um, that I edited out getting the old version to work, I, I didn't want to fuck up. Yeah, I'm already fucking up. That's the story of my life. Construction of the highway... We'll be starting in the next months, working west from Lock Haven. So far, this isn't all bad. Let's see what we got from Morble. Nature Preservation Protest. Yeah! Fuck nature! Let's not preserve it! The Nature Preservation Foundation is protesting against the remaining coal industry, a significant contributor to Swordish Energy. A group is voicing concerns about the environmental impact of the industry. The protest is gaining momentum and drawing attention to the need for sustainable energy alternatives. The future of coal industry operations in Morble is uncertain. Well, I'm not really too worried about that. I feel like we got bigger problems. Coal ain't going nowhere. Meeting, oh no, with, not with Chief Justice or so Hawker. So I'm guessing we got to try and convince the Chief Justice to agree with our new changes to the Constitution. That or he's just bored and wants to hang out. 
the administration had been working day and night on the overwhelming amount of issues that were facing the country. The department sent several documents which required my signature, only my words, my writing can do it, so they could start working on the new decisions that were taken. After I signed dozens of them, I closed my eyes to relax for a moment. Another long day. Even though I really wished to leave the palace for the day, Lucian had earlier told me that Chief Justice wanted to speak to me. To me! We planned to meet in my office in 30 minutes. I waited for him, wondering what subject he would raise. Uh, I'm going to take a moment to relax. I'm not going to get drunk. This guy is pretty shrewd. I don't want to be sloppy drunk when he shows up. I stretched out my arms and looked out the window. Oh! Thousands of shimmering lights in the whole sword skyline were mesmerizing. I'm just staring out there like an idiot. Light up. Suddenly I heard a knock, knock, knocking at my door. Yes? It was Lucian. Lucian, my friend. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening to you, Lucian. I'm sorry that I couldn't explain the situation to you in earlier in detail, sir. The Chief Justice insisted on seeing you this evening. I do not know what he has to say, but it will probably be about the new Constitution. He will be coming shortly. <laughs> oh, gross. I don't need to know about that. With Judge Mr. Garassi to the meeting. Uh, we shouldn't take them lightly. I don't remember if we met this guy before. I think we may have. Didn't we meet someone with Hawker before? I don't remember. Let's see, before this guy's political career, Heron studied law at the Imperial Markian University and later pursued a military career, like a judge advocate general type shit. As part of the King's Army, he held the rank of lieutenant until the dissolution of the monarchy in 1923. Due to his marriage with the sister of General Luderin, he was implicated in the military coup of 1927 and the Swordish Civil War, but investigations were dropped during Tarkin's soul's term as president. Interesting. He joined the USP and became a member of the Assembly in 1929. So he's a big Tarkin's soul supporter, and soul might have protected his ass. And maybe that's why he's the soul protector, or uh, friend. He is a member of our party. Let's see, what are we going to say about our response? Um, I'm not going to be like, regardless of what they say, I will continue with the new constitution. We probably would do that, but let's have a softer response. If we can get people through friendship, then that's the best ship. I think Hawker is here to test the waters. He knows we want to take away their power, and so he wants to probably flex a little bit, see what we're going to do, what we have to say. I agree. Uh, they will probably try and get you to the side. We should... There were three knocks at the door. Oh, sassy knocks. Come on in, bitch. Lucian checked his watch. He looked rather worried. Livia, that's our secretary, opened the doors. Chief Justice Orso Hawker and Judge Heron Garcia entered the room. Good evening, Mr. President. It's good to see you. Evening, friendo! Hey, Garrisi! Welcome, Justice uh, Garrisi and Chief Justice Hawker. I'm going to use their formal titles to show some respect here. Uh, good to see you, indeed. Orso gestured at the sofa in the office. No, no, that's too, that's too friendly. Put them in chairs. May I? Yes, you may sit down. Let's have a seat, gentlemen. He's being polite, too. We all took our seats on two opposite sofas and made ourselves comfortable. How were your first couple of months, Mr. President? I hope you're farting well. I mean, farting. Yeah, I do both. I do both. Um, so far, Garrisi is very nice. Um, I'm not going to say no need for pleasantries. Let's play the pleasantries game. I will out pleasant you. It'll be so damn pleasant. Um, thank you. It's been a very, it's been very busy, but I'm doing good. 
Yeah, it'll only get busier, yet I think you're doing a good job so far. Considering all that's happened around here, well, with all the shootings near the palace and the soldiers on our borders, yes, there's been a lot of shootings, I will admit. He let out a deep sigh. Oh, Lordy. It is a troubling time. Oh, it's got me worried. Hey, did you steal my haircut? Looking good, Baldo Frendo. Baldo Frendo, indeed. We the best Baldo Frendos. <laughs> we appreciate your concern. So? You probably know why we here. Um, please enlighten us, Mr. Hawker. I'm not going to say he's going to bribe I don't think he's the man that's going to bribe us, right? He seems like he's a guy who's used to having power. And he's not, I don't think he's going to be like Marcel Marcel. No, wait, no, it was Tusk. That Tusk that offered us money. Please enlighten me, Mr. Hawker. We know you are working on a new constitution. The Supreme Court does not approve of this. Oh. With all due respect, the constitution needs to be updated, sir. I am sure you're well aware of the public demand and our circumstances. Is that so? I see that you are the one who is not aware of our actual circumstances. Oh no, I'm going to have to hear about his old man problems. You want to make a weaker constitution in the midst of problems for both inside and outside. Even if your proposal passes the assembly, I will make sure that it will not pass the Supreme Court. That much is clear. Well, we're getting straight to the point. So much for pleasantries. I could threaten him, but right now, let's wait. We don't need to threaten. And I, I like this. Come on, come on, man. But I don't think I want to use that. Um, I don't want to say, so you came here to threaten us. Are you threatening me? The reason I don't is I think maybe Baldo Frendo, if we seem reasonable, he might be able to be lured to our side. It's at least worth it to try, you know? We've got nothing to lose. You haven't seen our proposal yet, Mr. Hawker. Isn't it too soon to be against us? Do you think I live under a rock, Mr. President? I don't know where you live. I don't ever think about where you live. Why would I care where you live? I know what goes on. Yet you, Mr. President, seem to only be partially informed about the current situation. Please let us explain the reasons for our stance. All right, Heron. I'm going to be reasonable. I'm going to let this man explain. Oh, please explain. We are protecting the Constitution because it works. Mr. President, it is efficient and it gives you the authority to lead the nation with swift decisions. Y'all just come here to bootlick. You're like, we love it when there's a strong executive. <laughs> Spit in my mouth, Daddy. No, I will not do that, Hawker. Come on, just a little bit. I'm not doing that at all. Gross. Sword Land has more important problems and threats that we should face right now instead of nitpicking about some paragraphs of the Constitution. We have a potential war within our borders. You're, how did, I was going to say, how did you become a judge? We know how you became a judge. Tarkin's soul saved your ass and made you a judge to help him. Um, you all should be worried, you should not have, like, the concept of, who cares about our sacred government document? No, you should care a fucking shitload about the Constitution. Orso signaled Heron with his hand to let him speak instead. That means he hit him. <laughs> Mr. President, I know you're a busy man, so I will make this quick. We all know that the Swordish security forces found stashes of Rumbergian weaponry in the hideouts of Bluedish separatists. AK-47s are roaming inside Sorland at this moment. As much as Romberg poses a threat, now it's clear that they are also intervening in our country and weaponizing our minorities against us. It's not unprecedented to think that the Bloods will start their terror again with their new toys. I mean, maybe maybe Anton's naive. See, we're from an area nearby where the Bloods are, or where the Bloods are from. And I want to enfranchise the Bloods. My goal is not to go shoot them all up. I disagree with Orso here, but maybe I am the naive fool. Not to mention the fights that broke out between the left and right wing after the shooting of Bernard Circus. 
communists are rising with the support of United Cantana. The chaos is imminent for Swordland. And sadly, we don't see the administration taking the necessary precautions yet. We clearly need more funding for our security forces for the days to come. Well, I said I'd give the government, the military some monies. You know, actually, I will be increasing the security bu budget shortly. That's something I promised to do. Oh my, I am relieved to hear that. But regardless of that, are you also aware of the armed Bluedish separatists that have direct connections with the Workers' Party of Bluda? Bludia? Yeah, I know that, bro. I know all that shit. Oh, wait, wait, you saying the Workers' Party? Oh, I get it. Okay, so there's the Workers' Party, and then there's the the armed Bluedish Freedom Party. So Hawker is saying the diplomatic organization is entwined with the military organization, and we don't like the military organization, but I'm okay with the diplomatic organization. I could say the racist thing, they're all bludes. I'm gonna take the side of the people from around my neighborhood, the bludes. The Workers' Party is a democratic party, unlike the militias. They are not the same, Mr. Hawker. They may claim to have no ties with the separatists, but most of their members used to be part of them before they formed the Workers' Party of Bludia. Yes, they may have been, but they're choosing the, 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 the process of peace. They're trying to do things within the political framework. That is what we should want, is for people to give up the fighting and to fight in Congress, but not with shooting or hitting each other with canes. How about that name, Mr. President? It's not the Workers' Party of Swordland, is it? As far as I'm aware, there ain't no nation called Bludia around here. Yeah, I... Uh, Heron, I get what you're saying, but they don't represent all the workers. They represent the Bludes, who have been historically, um... treated like dog shit. Uh, what is this all about? The only reason they're not in the assembly is because of the electoral threshold. They've gotten quite big. They are clearly getting outside help and their connections to the paramilitary. Bluedish forces cannot be denied. All of a sudden, the reformists are trying to decrease the electoral threshold so that the Bluedish separatists can be legitimatized in the assembly to achieve their aims of independence. You think that's Mr. Richter's, our good friend, Friends Richter, intention? I suspect his intentions are grander. But I wish the only issues were Blutish territories in Romberg. Oh, God, do I have to hear your opinion about fucking everything? And another thing, kids like rap and loud music today. Back in my day, we liked slow, sad music. Ah, I'm going to let them listen to rock and roll all they want. Ugh. The reformists suggested changes would also bring the communists who are backed by the United Cortana into the assembly. Do you see the pattern yet? If they have enough votes, they deserve to be there. I mean, it, it, it's not democracy unless, you know, you can vote for who the fuck you want. You know, um, are you saying... No, I'm just going to ask what his suggestion is. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any evidence for any of this. Either they're not so, they know something we don't, or they're bullshitting us because they want to keep their power. And what is your suggestion, Heron? We should take... I was asking Heron, not you, Orso. We should take the necessary measures against communist and blutish plots, as well as increasing our military budget against a possible conflict with Romberg. I already said that. That's a security thing. Unless that's a different thing, because... I, from the get-go, the military is part of the thing I've been trying to do. And, of course, not fall into the traps of the reformists by listening to their demands. Plug your ears, don't hear what they gotta say. They are clearly plotting to weaken the president and a whole administration in order to exploit the situation. You keep saying that. I'm not asking for your help to stay strong. Which brings me to some very important information that we have to hear. What, you haven't heard it already? It's definitely something you need to hear. And it can change absolutely everything. This better not be... This better not be the secret. If you think happy things, happy things happen. That's bullshit. 
It would do all due respect, Mr. President. I think this is getting slightly ridiculous. I agree, Lucien, but let's... Let's look, we need to get six votes out of the 11 votes of the Supreme Court. These are two mofos on the court. I don't know that we're getting their votes, but we got to get somebody's votes. Um, I'm not going to tell Lucien to shut the fuck up, but I'm going to ask Mr. Hawker to explain. Please explain, Mr. Hawker. The person in question is Mr. Franz Richter himself, the leader of the reformists. We have enough information to infer that he has ties with Arcasia. That's great. That's great. I want to align with Arcasia. Maybe he can bring Eisenhower over or whoever is president. Arcasia is aggressively growing their influence around the world. And now we have Mr. Richter coming up with these ridiculous demands for a new constitution amidst a chaotic period in Swordland. I think you're afraid of losing your most favored trade status as the fact of... Tarkin's soul gave you cush cush jobs. All the pieces seem to fit perfectly. That is why the Supreme Court will be doing what it takes to stop these reforms and to preserve the Constitution. I had a feeling it would not be easy to convince the entire Supreme Court to join our cause. Um, yeah, and it's not. How would you know that Mr. Rector has ties to Arcasia? Good question, Lucien. Good question. Good question. Mr. Glad, we all know he's been in Arcasia many times because it's been documented. But what would you think if he has been making hidden flights to the country? He was hiding. You know what? I need to know this. Please explain. He has been spotted in a hotel in Arcasia last year where they held the conference on economic development in volatile regions. We are a volatile region. Right around that time, he started to influence the masses into believing our constitution is the reason for everything bad. You know, it's not all bad if he went to America and was like, hey, their constitution has some good stuff in it. You know, it's been a pretty durable document. And how do you know all this shit, Hawker? Aren't you supposed to be in the court? His trip was not documented, nor was he an official guest of the conference. We believe that he had a meeting with President Walker behind closed doors. Is that the president of Arcasia? Dwight Walker. D Dwight Walker Eisenhower. Yeah, I don't care if he met with him. Like, I could ask him about it. I also have a couple more photos of him that were taken in Arcasia in different cities. They better not be dirty photos, because I don't need to see my friend, friends Richter dirty. And naked. One is from a couple months again, or back, but none of it is documented. How is it not documented if you have a picture of it? I mean, there aren't other records. Okay, because by the very nature, if you took a picture of it, it's documented. You can be in kind of anal. Shut up. <laughs> he also attended another event in Lesbia last week. Ah, the Lesbians are very tight with the Arcasians. The Arcasian Minister of Foreign Affairs was there too. How did you... I don't think it's big. Um, how did you find out about all this? That, that's what I want to know. Did the commies tell you? Many solists were already following his leads for quite some time, Mr. President. I cannot give away their identities, but I can give you the evidence. This is more concerning. I would understand if the giant communist powers... We're spying on them, and this is part of their game. But if the soulless, Tarkin Souls boys are spying on people, what kind of infrastructure does Tarkin Soul still have to spy on people? He handed me a small file. It contained official documents from the Swordish Border Guard with highlighted dates that showed no trace of Friends Richter's name. There were clear photos of him that were taken in the conference in Arcasia, as well as remarks by lesbian and Arcasian citizens who claimed to have seen him with Arcasian businessmen around the same dates. I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> Should I care? So maybe, maybe he secretly did this. Can we just talk to him? Or maybe the border guard didn't bother writing it down? There is an, also an official transcript of one of his speeches. We claim to be in Benfi on the dates of the conference in Arcasia, where he was spotted. Oh, no! 
Lucian skimmed through the documents with skepticism, which slowly turned into surprise. Oh, these, these seem to be real. Of course they're real, Mr. Glad. These seem to suggest that Arcasia is behind the reformists. Their demands will only benefit Arcasia. They want us to have a weaker administration while we face all these threats. This is clearly a plot against Swordland. I bet Rumberg is part of their plan too. This cannot be a coincidence that they are weaponizing our minorities against us, against us around the same time. Now you understand the reasons of our current stance and also our suspicions about your advisors who clearly have not given you this vital information. My bigger concern is how he got this information from Solus. Lucian gave him a sharp look. I appreciate the information, Mr. Hawker, but I advise against jumping to conclusions right away. We still need to check the information. There's not much to check or time. This is clearly an emergency. In such cases, the Constitution gives the President the right to use his emergency powers. Emergency powers because there was a meeting that wasn't documented? about economic development in our shithole of a country? If we work together, you can be sure that the Supreme Court will not block your declaration of emergency. Shit, Hawker is offering us emergency powers. Are you trying to make us a king or something? I'm not gonna talk about, I'm not gonna entertain this for a moment. I'm not gonna, t our whole administration is about having less power, not seizing more executive power. I am still too skeptical about these, Mr. Hawker. I will have to decline. It seems you are influenced by Mr. Glad way more than you think. Oh, what's that supposed to mean, Mr. Hawker? Fight, fight, fight! Hit that old man, Lucian! If you kill him... Oh, that's probably bad, but there will be one last vote against us. Why don't you explain your agenda yourself, Lucian? You are swaying the president to ignore the national security threats. Um, I could say, no, uh I am my own man. I could say, you're the one trying to make me believe in conspiracies! I'm not going to do either of those. I'm going to be more relaxed. Gentlemen, let's get back to the topic of wild conspiracies. Well, Mr. President, do you want to talk about how we can fight against these reformists and the others? Or did you make it up your mind? I don't know what I want to say. I have no interest in the emergency powers thing. None. I, 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 I'll hear him out. We'll hear his, <sighs> let's hear your suggestions. Of course, we cannot wait for the processes of the assembly to take care of these issues. You must exercise your presidential powers for a fast and effective solution. I regret letting him talk more. Which means you might need to suspend parts of the constitution to give more authority to our security forces to deal with these issues. We must officially investigate Mr. Richter as well. No, we're gonna be we're not gonna become a police state. You can devise a strong security decree, and you can base it on articles fifty seven and fifty eight, which gives you the president the right to suspend parts of the constitution to deal with national security threats. No! That is, that is the road to tyranny. We're trying to get away with that. I grew up in tyranny, and I will not see that again in this country. You can directly bypass the assembly in such a situation. The only thing you need is the Supreme Court. I understand what you're saying. You want to ally with me to give me ultimate power, but then I'll need you. Sir, I think that's going a bit too far. We shouldn't escalate things so fast. We shouldn't escalate them at all. Mr. President... Why don't we talk in private? Only the two of us. We can devise a plan together. No! Sir, I advise against this. I could tell the other two guys to fuck off and I'm going to talk with Hawker. I'm not going to. I can say I like your idea. I don't like his idea. I can say I'm sorry we won't be cooperating. You know, I'm still going to be diplomatic about it, right? I don't want to burn... Why, do you want to burn bridges, but in the nicest way? I'm sorry to say that we won't be cooperating, Mr. Hawker. Even though you're aware of our national security threats? You're making a big mistake, Mr. President. We will not allow you to succeed. 
Well, now you've been the unreasonable one. Ha, I did win the black battle! Eat my dick! I mean, I'm going to end it politely. Gentlemen, politely eat my dick. I think it's about time to end this meeting. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, thank you for having us, Mr. President. Oh, you, don't you bring the politeness back. I won the politeness wars. Have a good evening. No, you, you have a great evening. The best evening ever. They both left the room without saying anything else. Well, that was a shit show of the meeting, Lucian. Why didn't you do something to save the day? Oh, that was not good. They clearly tried to threaten you. Oh, you don't say, Lucian. I'm glad we were at the same meeting. I like the, we need to take care of them. I'm not going to say I'm not scared of them. That would be foolish. The, the fact that somebody visited Tarkin's soul, and these guys are Tarkin's soul loyalists. Hmm. We have to make sure our reforms will pass the court. You know, we could try and do an end around about them or destroy them or something, but if we can do things the legal, correct way, it'll give us a much stronger place to stand from with the new constitution. Or oh, so we'll be doing whatever it takes to try to damage you. We need to be careful. There are still many old guard sympathizers in our party. We can't let them divide our party. I agree, Lucian. And he will definitely try to be a splitter. After a short evaluation of the situation on our hands, Lucian left me in the presidential office. It was obvious that the old guards would be my main rivals in the near future. Oh, those sons of bitches. That meeting was awful. Absolutely awful. Is the news going to be awful meeting was awful? Hawker in Maroon Palace. Chief Justice Orso Hawker has been spotted entering the Maroon Palace. Our sources are intrigued by the timing of this visit that is happening right after the increased conversations around the so-called democratic reform. Historically, Mr. Hawker usually does not frequent the palace unless for official business. And this was certainly an unplanned visit. Certainly there must be something he wants out of this. Our speculation is that this has something to do with the reforms. Yeah, you're right, dipshits. You're right. That meeting didn't go well. I, I, I can't give up the freedom of the people. Like, we, we don't want to end up like Tarkin's soul. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to have our own magic island where we can do whatever we want, but we're trying to do something better for the people. That's all I'm saying. Trials of democracy that'll have to be saved for next time thanks for hanging out everybody hopefully we don't get killed